Hey there everyone. Today I am going to be doing a short little tutorial on how to install GIMP splash screens. Um, I created a GIMP splash screen that I'm going to go ahead and give away to everyone. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy these. I got a few of them. There's a blue one, a brown one, a green one, and a gray one. Um, I just uh, was messing around in Blender one day. I created this background image inside of Blender and um, I just wanted to do something and I like changing my GIMP. Um, that's one thing that I like about GIMP and Blender and stuff like that that you're able to um, do a lot with these as far as customizing them and stuff like that other programs don't um, offer that so anyways so we're gonna go ahead and get into this real quick so all you want to do is just go ahead and open up a file explorer and then you will want to navigate into your C drive and then you'll want to go to program files and GIMP 2 share and then you'll want to go to GIMP GIMP and then 2.0 and then you'll want to scroll down to images and you will see this um, here's the default GIMP splash screen right here um, did I just close that <laughs> let me go ahead and open that real quick all right I am back with that open again um, so here's the default GIMP splash screen and that's nice and everything and really like it and all that but like I said I like the customization of GIMP you can go in and go ahead and customize stuff uh, on your own if you want and so that's why like I said that's the reason why I created this splash screen and all you want to do is um, before you install this in there or let me go ahead and delete this out of here real quick is this will say GIMP splash on it all you want to do is just go down and rename it. Um, I just went ahead and put default. That way I didn't lose the image or delete it. Or you can go ahead and delete it out of here. That's up to you. Then all you'll want to do is go ahead and pick whichever color you want. Like I said, there's a blue, a brown, green, and gray one here. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and copy the blue one over here. Yes. And then I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to rename it and all I'm going to do is just delete the underscore blue and hit enter and that's it and then I'm just going to go ahead and open up GIMP and you'll see that this loads up now in GIMP and I'm glad that I haven't figured out what this was mathmap.exe um, and so you guys see that Here's your splash screen. So it looks pretty good. And like I said, it's pretty simple, stuff like that. And it just loads up like that. And there you go. Now, some of you, um, I'm not sure what I did um, here. It's been a long time uh, since I've done this. But I got inside of, if I go into my users and so I have a .gimp-2.8 folder here and there's a folder in here called splashes and I believe I made this folder um, and then I installed it here. So if you guys have something like that, just go ahead and install it here too. Um, but I'm not going to do a video on how I did this um, because I got to look in um, earlier and I can't figure out um, how or why I have this in here. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys that, not to confuse you, but just to show you because maybe some people um, have that also. But this is where you'll want to install this and you will have a nice GIMP splash screen. I hope you guys um, enjoy these splash screens. If, um, you could come over to my website and download the splash screens from my website. All you want to do is just come over here and click on blog and downloads and let it go over to the blog and downloads and for some reason it's being super slow right now give it a second 
and you'll see that I already posted up a post and um, all you got to do is just click on read more and come over into here and you will see this download highlighted in red just go ahead and click on this and it will pop up and it will go ahead and you'll download it and it's a very quick download so like I said I hope you guys appreciate this please like and subscribe for tons more tutorials and have a great day thank you